In this video, we're going to take a look at how absolute value works into the order of operations. Absolute value in a problem works just like parentheses, which means we will work inside the absolute value first and finally make positive at the end or after the inside is simplified. Once that's complete, we can finish the problem like any other order of operations problem. Let's look at some examples where we treat the absolute value like a parentheses and then look at the distance from zero or make it positive at the end. Here we see the absolute value. Inside the absolute value, then, we will work just like any other problem, as if it were a parentheses, which means we will start by doing the innermost parentheses first. We now have negative 3, absolute value of 2 to the 4th, minus 9 squared. Continuing to work inside the absolute value, we can evaluate the exponents next. We now have negative 3, absolute value, of 2 to the 4th, which is 16, minus 9 squared, which is 81. Continuing to work inside the absolute value, we can subtract. We now have negative 3, absolute value of negative 65. Finally, the absolute value has been completely simplified on the inside. Now, we can evaluate the absolute value operation, making the 65 positive. We now have negative 3 times 65. Finish the problem by simply multiplying negative 3 by 65. This gives us negative 195. And that completes our problem. Let's try another example where we simplify inside the absolute value first, then make it positive so we can finish the problem. Here, we again have an absolute value. Inside the absolute value, we will do the innermost parentheses first, doing the exponents before the subtraction. We now have 2 minus 4, absolute value of 3 squared plus 5 squared, which is 25, minus 6 squared, which is 36. We then can finish inside those innermost parentheses by subtracting. We now have 2 minus 4, absolute value of 3 squared, plus 25 minus 36, which is negative 11. Now that the innermost parentheses has been simplified, we continue to simplify inside the absolute value, doing the exponents first. We now have 2 minus 4, absolute value of 3 squared, which is 9, plus negative 11. We can now finish the absolute value by doing the addition. 2 minus 4, absolute value of negative 2. Finally, the absolute value on the inside is completely simplified. Now we are allowed to take the absolute value of the negative 2, making it positive. We now have 2 minus 4 times positive 2. Now we can continue to simplify the rest of the expression. Order of operations has us multiply first. We end up with 2 minus 8, and finally, we can finish by doing our subtraction. 2 minus 8 is negative 6, and that completes our problem. Again, we treat absolute value just like parentheses. Simplify inside the absolute value first and make the result positive at the end. 